Hi, my name is Olu Olabode. You're most welcome to my YouTube channel, Dreams of the Heart TV. I'm glad to be with you again. And this is the second part of the topic I started on last week. Three ways to stir up the gift in you. So everybody has a gift. You have a gift. I have a gift. And really, we need to stir up that gift so we can use it. We need to stir up that gift so that gift can be you know can make way for us we need to stay up that gift so that gift can be useful for us so last week i started off with talking about what does it mean to stay up a gift i said stirring up a gift meaning it just means using that gift it means putting that gift to, it means using that gift to affect your environment and i started speaking about what in my you know my journey and what it means to stay up a gift so i started with saying that the first part is discover that gift and if if you didn't listen to last week's episode this would help you before you listen to this episode. So really, I want to continue from where I stopped. I stopped off by saying that you can discover your gift. So the three ways really to stay up your gift is discover, develop, and deploy your gift. That's how you can stay up that gift. So discovery, I said to discover is to find out. That was the first part. And you can do that by you know, asking questions, by seeking God, you know, I spoke about that in the first episode. So today I just want to continue by saying the next step is number two is develop that gift. And to develop really means the word develop means to grow, to evolve, to mature, to expand, to enlarge, to spread, to advance. So really you have a gift, you've discovered what it is. But now how do you take it to the next level? You need to develop that gift. And you need to now find out, do I need to develop it through education? Do I need to develop it? I really would say there are two parts to this developing your gift. The first part would be to get a mentor. Getting a mentor really does wonders. What it does is that getting a mentor just means getting somebody that has been, that has walked in your shoes or that has done something similar to what you are wanting to do. They've made some mistakes, you know, they've gone, they've, they've found parts that work, they found parts that don't work. And now you're learning from them. And you can really learn from them by getting their books. You can listen to their podcast. You can have one-on-one -on -one with mentors. You can, you know, you, you gain a wealth of experience. You gain decades of experiences by not just making your mistakes, but by learning from them. So in whatever field you are, getting a mentor, I believe, is key. Because for every successful person that you see out there, every one of them would always have a mentor. They always are working on somebody, they're stepping on somebody else's shoulders to take them to their next level. For anyone that wants to get to the next level, you need to have a mentor that is going to say, oh no, you go this way. If you go this path, it would lead you. So getting a mentor, I would say, is the first way to developing yourself. That would really, really, really help you to grow. Another way I would say is training. Do you need informal training? Do you need formal training? Maybe you need to do a quick course. Maybe you need to, you know, maybe you need to register to go back to school. To, you know, maybe it, it might be a six week course, it might be a one month course, it might have to be a four year course, whatever you need to do. Or it might be informal training. It might also, and training also here, apart from training academically, would also be training yourself. So training comes in various ways. Now you need to train yourself in things like self-discipline. You need to train yourself in things like time management. You need to train yourself in the, in the keys, in character, you know, character traits. You need to train yourself what you need that's going to advance you to your next level. So that is another way to develop yourself. And development is so big. You, we, without developing that gift in us, it would always remain at the point of discovery. So do you want to go to your next level? And I share a lot of that in my book, Discover, Develop, and Deploy Your Gift. Because a lot of time, people will discover what gift they have, but then they don't take time to develop that gift. And then if they don't take time to develop that gift, then how do you deploy it to your world? So development, and I believe development is an ongoing thing. You, do, you, you go to a growth of, for everyone, for every successful person out there, they, 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 they commit to continual learning. You have to continually learn. So first you have your training, initial training, through mentorship, you know, through mentorship and also through training. But then you, you have to continue to read. Reading is a big way as well that can train you. You learn because you have to commit to continual training in whatever part it might be on in your business look for another business that is doing what you seek where you seek to go they might have 10 years experience what can you learn from them you look maybe you're studying you know whatever you're studying there's always someone out there that has gone that path before and they're able to help you and direct you and the third 
way that you can stay up that gift is called deployment and really deployment is just what delivering that gift deployment the word deployment just means to use to act to bring it out so the whereas development is talking about you know taking action you know preparing yourself deploy and um, development is talking about preparing yourself you know training deployment is acting what action steps do you need to take now you discover the gift now you develop the gift how do you deploy that gift what action steps do you need to this is where faith comes you need to take that step of faith and you need to take it you know you need to you know to have courage you need to step out in faith because you have that you believe that you're able to do that thing but are you ready to step out in faith and stepping out in faith is not always easy stepping out in faith is, it might sometimes it's, it's scary it's challenging but you have to decide that you're not going to let anything stop you no matter what obstacles are going to come your way i shared that in here you're going to have obstacles there's going to be fear there's going to be a variety of obstacles but you have to decide you know what i'm not going to let anything stop me i am just going to move so deployment really the, the point of deployment really is taking action so now you found out you need to take action so you decide depending on what you what you do it might be a business it might be a ministry might, for whatever you're doing you decide what action steps do i need to put in place you need to write them down you need to now talk okay what which which do i do first which do i second you need to prioritize those action steps i need to begin to actually take them faith it, with, faith goes with works you what you have faith you have to take action they go together so that's my shout of encouragement to you this week three steps to stay up the gift of God in you and if you really want to know more about this you can get my book discover develop and deploy your gift is on amazon.ca amazon.com amazon.co.uk I have you on my website oluolabody.com you can also contact me I can if you want I can also send out a, a hard copy to you but all I will say is it's time to stay up that gift there is a gift that God has placed in you and you can't afford to waste that gift because like Miles Monroe said, the cemetery is the richest place on earth. You can't afford to take that gift to the grave. You need to stay up. You need to discover, develop, and deploy the gift God has put in you. Have a great week ahead. I'll see you again next week.